Welcome to Entrepreneur Like You with business attorney and entrepreneur Chance Reynolds. A daily podcast that brings you the best legal tips, marketing strategies, and storytelling tactics that will help you grow your business the right way. Something I talk about on here a ton is asking your potential clients, your potential customers, exactly what it is that they want before you start actually building whatever it is that you think they might want. And that seems kind of pretty straightforward, but I do get questions on the daily about exactly how to ask. So when I run any sort of ask campaign, I follow Ryan, I think you pronounce his name, Ryan Levesque's. Um, I follow his formula which is from a book called just ask i think it's yeah it's just ask by ryan levesque so you can read the whole book if you want or you can just get the get the kind of big points um the book is decent it doesn't give you much of a formula other than just here's here are the questions that you need to ask so the first thing that you do is you do what is called a deep dive survey this is just an open-ended question this is the biggest no-brainer so For example, you would just either, if you have a, if you have an email list, you would just email this out to your list and say, you know, something like, Hey, I I know you guys are busy, but I'm really trying to make sure that I provide the most value to this list. And I want to be able to provide you guys with everything that you need. If you could just take a quick minute, throw together two or three sentences of what your biggest challenge is and email marketing, whatever it is that you're selling. Um, and just let me know. That'd be great. And if you if your list is not responsive, you can give something at the end. You could say, you know, everybody who answers is going to be entered into a drawing for a fifty dollar gift card to Chili's. I don't know, whatever it is that's near you that somebody would Amazon. Amazon would probably be the best one. So you'll get some responses there, and all you really need are like ten responses. I mean, it's great if you can get like a hundred if you have a massive email list, but if you're just starting out, just getting ten responses to to that is good. Then you want to follow that up, and this is the most important by a couple of questions that are going to kind of what's called put your customers into buckets, segment them so you can know kind of how to price your product. And if you need to create, you know, very, you know, a variable when you're creating your, your product, like something that's really cheap or something that is for beginners, then something that's for experts, you know, you just need to know where people are and whatever it is that you're selling. So for example, if I was doing it, I would want to know if somebody was had launched their business and made any sales, or um, if if they've they're pre-launched, they don't even know who their audience is yet. So that's really going to depend on what type of language I can use and and whatever I'm creating for them. You know whether they're even familiar or whether I need to just baby step them through. You need to figure out who your clients are. You need to do this. You need to segment them. You know like what I'm ta- what I'm talking about right now is some something I would tell somebody who's starting an online business that is creating some sort of information product generally, or even in e-commerce, even if you're shipping physical products, this works. Um, I would ask them, you know, that question. And then if they have not done anything, they haven't built, they don't even have a list or anything. I would tell them to do a deep dive survey before creating anything. And there are a couple of ways you can get people onto your email list if you don't have them yet. So this isn't directly related to ask, but there's something called solo ads. Now you can pay someone else who has a list for a certain number of clicks. Sometimes it's about 50, 60, $70 per hundred clicks. So if you pay them to send out your deep dive survey to their email list, that's, you know, targeted to whatever market that you're in, you find a solo seller that can do that. Um, You'll add people to your email list for one, and you will get answers from people that are in your target market. So you'll know kind of what to create when you start building your email list. So those that's just a couple of quick ideas on how you can find out what to do. I know a lot of people get stuck on what to create, and, and there's a whole other group of people that are not stuck on what to create. They think they know what they're going to create and they're going to spend the next year creating it and then nobody's going to want it. And I think almost everybody in online sales has been there. You get into online sales because you think you have a great idea. Turns out it's something that you want, um, but a lot of times there's not that many other people that want it or you don't know the language that they're using when they're describing how they want it. So that's another thing that this is really good at. When people give you a summary of what it is that they want, you take those responses 
and you use the language that that they're giving you, you'll kind of start to see patterns if you get about 100 responses. And um, you'll take that language and then you'll use that straight in your sales copy and, you know, when you're naming your product and when you're talking about your product on your landing page. So these potential clients are, you're basically taking what they're telling you that they want. You're, you're turning around and selling them exactly what they've told you. You, I mean, you have to create it. It's going to take time. It's not necessarily easy, but there are tons of ways to do that where you create it as you go. And that's almost the best way to do it because you kind of see what the roadblocks are in one module before you're moving to the next. If you're doing something like an information product, which is I'm building out an information product right now. So that's why I keep going back to that. And that's kind of the most common way to get into online business. But those are super easy ways to avoid wasting a lot of time. So you do the deep dive survey, just asking them what are their biggest challenges with whatever it is that you can help them fix. You know, what are the, what pains are that causing? You take those pain points, you put them back into the title of your product, and then you create a product that solves that problem for them. Um, and then, you know, before before you do that, you also want to ask them a couple of segmenting questions where you can put your customers or potential clients into buckets in case you need to create kind of different pricing points that have different bonuses. Um, and just so you can test and kind of know exactly who your customers are. So those are the two most important things when you're asking. A lot of people ask me what the hell I'm talking about when I say you need to ask your clients, and that's exactly how you do it. And if you want something further than that, Ryan Levesque's book, Ask... It's really, really good. Um, guy just really knows what he's doing. And, and all the top online marketers use some variation of what he's doing. And it's not anything that he's created himself. It's just he's the first one to kind of write a really great book about it. So check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the show notes. And uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening. I really, really appreciate everybody tuning in and all the great feedback I'm getting about the podcast, so I'm gonna keep it up. And I just wanted to say thank you. Also, if you want to figure out the three ways that most entrepreneurs are getting themselves sued, you can head over to llcfreedom.com slash get sued. I have a little freebie there that kind of outlines the three major ways that people are getting sued and how they can easily be avoided. So hop over to llcfreedom.com slash get sued and pick that up today.